Welcome to another video and if you're new, a warm welcome to you too. Today I just decided to play with some watercolours and just have some fun. These are the watercolours I'm going to work with or this is what I've got. So I'm just going to try and mix some on a palette. I've got my water ready and then a little water dripper that I use just to mix the paints with a bit of water to thin it out. It's also an applicator that you will use when you use monomer. So I've just tried to blend some of the colors to get a lighter blue and a pinkish color and a purple color. So I just took out my clear stamper. This is one that I would use for this purpose. And when I want to clean it, just use some tape. You can also use your roller if you want to clean your stamper. Or well, I know you get a sticky pad that you can clean your stamper on. But in this case, I just use a piece of tape. I've already prepped the nails by starting off with a base coat. Then two layers of the main colour, which is white, and I cured that for 60 seconds. And then I applied a no white top coat. When I do some stamping images, I would usually use it onto a matte top coat. And then I took out some of the stamping plates, deciding to use some of the floral designs that I like. And for some reason, I think I need to cover the whole nail. But sometimes it's not necessary. It's best to leave some empty spaces for the background. The end result sometimes is so much better. Like in this instance, I'm trying to squish in a little butterfly in the corner. This is one of the newer plates that I've just received that I'm going to use. And for those who don't know, you need to remove this little plastic layer that is just for protection. We're just going to carry on by applying our images. And just have some fun. On this nail, I'm just going to add a little booty at the bottom. If you're not happy with your application, you can just wipe it with a bit of alcohol and then reapply your image. And you just clean your plate with some acetone. And now that we've got our images down, 
we're just gonna have some fun by starting to put some color in I'm just gonna use one one of my thin detailer brushes that I took out and then we're just gonna start coloring I was really cautious not to go over the lines but as I went on I see as soon as the paint dry the lines are coming through again but I was still cautious And another thing that I experienced is that you can only do some blending once the first layer of the paint is dry. The reaction is different from when you would use acrylic paints. So you can't really do some blending with this watercolor paint. And although I was using a pinkish color on this nail, at the end it turned out to be red for some reason. I just decided to change it to red as I didn't quite like the pinkish color. I'll just make sure to clean my brush in between before adding a new color every time. And what I've done is once the first layer of paint was dry, on some of it I went in for a second time just to put on another layer of paint and let that dry. I think this is the last nail that I'm going to show you. 
or something going to hit neither the other two off camera and once the other nails were dry I just went in by trying to blend in some white or just to finish off the look of it just by playing around I think you would have noticed by now that my channel is not really educational or of an educational nature. I'm just playing around, trying some different designs, experimenting, just having some fun trying some new things and try out some fun designs. And after doing some of the designs off camera, I've put some lighter colors in between or tried some blending or just to finish them off and this is the end result. I'm going to admit that this was fun to do, it's something that I will try again. Maybe try out some different watercolor paints next time. And I'm just going to finish them off by applying a no wipe top coat and cure that for 60 seconds. This little booty was my favorite. Let me know which one you liked the most. And this is our end result. I really had fun in creating these. Thank you once again for taking the time. I really appreciate it. I hope you've enjoyed watching. Keep well. Till next time. Bye bye.